Hey guys, ZFR here, and like I promised you guys, I'm bringing you that Battlefield 4 video right now. Um, and pretty much this is going to be about the spring patch that came out last week. Um, at, I didn't really start off and play it as soon as it came out, because at the time I was still like head first into the Witzer when this came out. So, you know, I, I didn't even touch this until um, a few days ago after I beat the Witzer. But, um... Yeah, so the spring pats is pretty much out, and this also came with the weapon crate DLC, which is the biggest part of it for most people. Now, um, this DLC C is pretty good. I think this was a really good idea on Dice's part, or whoever um made this DLC. Dice, um, I forget the other, uh, the there's like two different Dice Studios that are the same I, I don't know how that works guys um but yeah um so this pretty much came out with the um spring pass and it contains four new weapons into the game so i think that's a really good idea for free dlc because anybody who didn't get premium you know they've been missing out on all the new weapons and i must say they have added some really good ones in my opinion here um and some not so good ones but we're about to get into that right now um, for the first half of this video, you're going to see me using the AN-94, which, I'm not going to lie, it's the best weapon out of, it's the best weapon out of all four, and it is a assault rifle, of course, like, that's just, that's just to be expected from Battlefield games, and Call of Duty games now, to be honest, like, I don't know what's up with the developers and making so assault rifles, like, the most versatile and just overall powerful guns in the game like it's just it i mean smgs and everything are good too but like they're not touching an assault rifle assault rifle can be used in any situation in both of those games so um but yeah the an94 actually did come over from battlefield 3 a lot of people liked it from battlefield 3 and a lot of people wanted to be in battlefield 4 um and pretty much in Battlefield 3, this was a burst rifle. Um, it does have a full auto mode now, but it worked really weird in Battlefield 3. I think, if I'm correct, if you timed your burst right and you got a, a good rhythm going with the burst, like you would, you would apparently be shooting the gun really fast. Like I think, I can't remember the exact. Um, rounds for men, but it was like a really good rate of fire on it once you got the burst rhythm down um now it is full auto in this game and it's still it's still just as good to be honest from what i know is it's still a pretty beast gun as you're going to see me use it in this um gameplay and you can actually put it back in the burst mode um in battlefield 4 you don't have to use it in full auto so you know if you liked it the way it was but i don't think it's quite as good as it was back in battlefield 3 from what i've heard to me to me i'm still demolishing people with it so i'm all good to be honest like i'm melting people's faces with this thing guys like it, all it takes is about two or three bursts in their direction and they're gone like i mean so so yeah you all you guys already know the story it's an assault rifle most powerful gun in the pack no need for me to say much more um now um another what now that i'm not gonna lie you guys like i'm i'm telling you right now i straight up don't remember the name the exact name for some of these weapons um it's pretty much the second best one, in my opinion, the second best one to come with the DLC also is a Nari gun that came from Battlefield 3. And it's the light machine gun, the L85, I think. I can't remember exactly. I'm sorry, guys. I really can't remember at the moment. I'm actually going to, you're actually going to see me use it. Um, But, um, yeah, pretty much the, the L85, it was a really good gun back in Battlefield I remember running this thing. I remember when I first started running it. I didn't start running it to like halfway through Battlefield 3's life cycle, or at least from what I was playing of it. I remember. I remember totally going on huge killing freeze with this thing, guys. Like, I I do have to say this had to be one of my favorite guns towards the end of Battlefield 3. I was just 
I was destroying people with this thing. I'm not trying to brag, but it was just amazing in my opinion. Um, and I have to say, it doesn't feel quite as powerful in Battlefield 4. It's still pretty good, don't get me wrong, but it does. It feels different. Like, I th the main thing I noticed, for some reason, they made this thing... They took away the only thing stopping this thing from being a assault rifle, in my opinion. They brought the uh, magazine... Instead of having 40, ma 40 rounds in the magazine like it did in Battlefield 4, in Battlefield 3, now it has 30 at, like a assault rifle would. And I don't like, I don't like that part of it. Like, I think they need to go ahead and bump that back up to 40. Like, why would you do that? That's what made this gun special. That's what made it so good in Battlefield 4. I actually, um... I, I just, I, re I still really like it, but it's just not as good, like, I can tell the difference. Um, but moving on from that, like, pretty much, in my opinion, the third best gun, um, from the pack is going, there's actually five guns, not four, I don't know why I said, um, four earlier, but the third best one is pretty much the, um, Groza Carbine, like, there's two different Grozas in the pack. There's the Groza um, PDW, which is the SMG version, I guess. And then there's the Groza Carbine. Um, but the Carbine is the third, is my third favorite weapon out of the five. Like, um, for a simple reason, um, it does pretty good at close range. I'm not going to lie. If you like SMGs, this is going to be a Carbine for you. If you like the MTAR, I think you're going to like this. Um, it just threads people at close range. It looks pretty good. Only thing is that recoil, man. That recoil. So, you're, I'm telling you right now, you're going to struggle at medium range, but you can still make medium range work if you're really good at controlling recoil. You're still going to struggle either way, though. And long range is out of quest. I'm telling you now, you might as well not even try this thing in long range, though. So. Because that recoil is too real for long range. And it's almost too much for a freaking medium range. So really the best way to play this thing is just to stick to close range with it. Um, but yeah, to be honest, like, I really um like it though, to be honest. Like, I've been going on huge kill and freeze with this. I do have to say, um, kind of. I, I don't want to say I wish the magazine size was bigger because I understand it's a carbine, but to be honest, I really do think that magazine size would be a little bit bigger for a simple reason. It, run, it You burn through the magazine kind of fast, in my opinion, um, and the, the reload time is is a pretty good length, and, I, and in my opinion, if you're burning through a magazine fast, you shouldn't have... A freaking long reload time like I maybe well I don't know like I feel like if if you're going through the magazine slower I guess that does make sense but like the reload time for this thing is pretty long so you're gonna be reloading a lot with it since you're burning through that mag so fast and especially if you get the um Especially if you shoot all the bullets out of the round and you end up with zero in the mag and you have to reload all the way, then it's going to be even longer. I think it's like three or four seconds. I'm not sure. So that's a pretty long reload. But um, moving on from that, let's talk about the PDW. Um, now the PDW, it comes with a built-in suppressor. And I actually forgot to mention this, but the carbine comes with like all uh, like mandatory attachments like that you can't change on it like the only attachments you can change on carbines like the laser sight and the, um and the red dot sight um so yeah so that thing there's no fixing it either um as for the pdw or the smg however you say it, cause i have some friends who say smg i don't know why but um for the smg version you pretty much it's it's close range only. I'm telling you now, like, using this thing outside of close range is a nightmare. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting much from this gun. It's a good gun, don't get me wrong. If you're in close range, you're going to melt people with it. But 
it's just not a gun that's built for this it's not built right for battlefield in my opinion like pdw's just aren't that great in battlefield for a simple reason you have to be close with them you have to be close or close medium range with them like there is no in between um and, and i just really think that doesn't go with the design for the type of game that battlefield is in my opinion i just i don't think it does um but yeah it does have the suppressor on so you know you can sneak around with this thing you can be a little more free with it in my opinion and if you get those head starts, you're going to kill people extremely fast there's there's no need for you to worry about that i'm telling you now but um i just i i just really don't care for it simply because the fact is it's just sort reigns only but if you like smgs in this game or pdws i'm telling you right now you're going to like this gun like i'm telling you that right now the magazine is pretty small but that's to be expected um from the smgs or pdws in the game um but anyway let's move on to the last weapon now i'm telling you guys right now i was mostly excited for this weapon out of all of them and this weapon had to be the biggest disappointment and this i'm talking about the mayor's leg right now guys it's pretty much a secondary sniper pistol it's bad all right now from what i understand they nerfed it okay like they nerfed it before um they launched it in case you don't know what ct is that's um pretty much where the pc players get the test stuff that's in the game before it comes to consoles and all that um and pretty much in the pc cte version of the game um i heard a lot of good stuff about this guy i heard it was real it was a really decent secondary it was really fun to use and then i recently heard that it had been nerfed and i can definitely i can tell <laughs> is that thing is nerfed all the way man like i don't know like from what i understand you have to get headshots with it or it's just not going to work for you guys it's it's going to work against you if you're not getting headshots for days so you don't get that kind of accuracy and the iron sights are pretty bad on it when you start out those iron sights are pretty bad so good luck trying to get kills with that <laughs> good luck trying to get you know that red dot sight or that scope on that thing because i'm telling you right now like it's bad man so that has to be the worst out of all of them but i hope dice fix that one because i really i really would like to use that gun because it just looks pretty cool like even like when you fire it's like lever action or i forget exactly what you call it. it's like a old it's like a old school western r rifle sword almost something like you would use like back in um the cowboy days um i forget the game made by rockstar um i forget the name of that red dead redemption or something like that i think um but yeah um pretty much it's one of those type of rifles but it's it's a secondary so you know you can use it with an axle sniper or you can use it um with a assault rifle or a smg or something and i thought that's why i thought this gun was going to be so great because if you like to use smgs or something this gun would have let you have have a perfect setup if you were a fan of pdws in this game like you would have been able to have like freaking um you would have been able to have like a pdw then a sniper um for secondary but no it's not it's not gonna work guys the gun's awful but yeah guys that's the biggest part of spring pass the weapons dlc that's all i really want to talk about everything else is just like stability stuff and all that they nerfed the scrub a lot of people mad about that but that's really all like that like that was the biggest part of spring pass I'm definitely kind of disappointed, like, um, with some of the weapons, but the first three I mentioned, I really like those, um, but I think the free DLC was good, and I hope you guys enjoy it, I know I'm enjoying it right now, but thanks for watching, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later, ZFR out.